morning, Year 11. Morning. Now, I'm obviously watching a lot of you at the moment in this crucial period. Some of you are running around like headless chickens. And some of you are still in the denial stage that this is actually happening. It's Wednesday morning, and with just weeks before the Year 11 sit their exams, Miss Smith is taking assembly. It is happening, and that clock is almost at zero now. During the GCSE period, training Year 11 how to cope is a really important part of school life. But from this point forward, energies in Year 11 are about you, they are about your GCSEs, and they are about making this crucial period the most purposeful possible for you. I think there is a tendency with some people that they can assume they're just going to do really well, and therefore they don't need to prioritise their GCSEs because actually they're going to be all right. Thank you, Mr O'Leary. And actually the reality of how hard you've got to work to get those top grades is really tough. OK, let us begin. Will I need my history book? You will, of course. This is history. Like most Year 11s, 16-year-old Oscar is getting ready to sit his nine GCSEs. Miss, miss, quick question. Can I bring a pillow into the exam? Because the chairs could be quite uncomfortable. It depends if you have a time. medical condition. I do have a medical condition. You it's need called to provide... uncomfortable chair syndrome. No. <laughs> <laughs> if you could provide a medical no, certificate. No. It's called my posterior is not quite the right shape for these chairs no. syndrome. No. Oscar. Oh, Oscar. He is unique, I would say. He's bloody awesome. He's just a law on to himself, but I love him to bits. If there's something he can fight against or be different to, he will do it. There is no word to describe Oscar, just, he's just Oscar. Do we have any questions about how to use sources in an exam? Is ketchup allowed? No. <laughs> Oscar is one of the brightest students in the school. I put your pen down. He is so clever that he could literally be whoever he wants to be. That Rubik's Cube has driven me nuts for two years, but he's amazing how quickly he can just sort of work it out. I can do a Rubik's Cube in just under a minute now. It's just a fun thing to play around with. You guys, why are you cut me out? It's lunchtime, and Oscar and his friends are going to the library to revise for their history exam. The library, yes. My group of friends are the library crew. It's just a nice place to be. It's, um, it's nice and open and light. Um, <laughs> sound like an architect. Have you seen how many words I've been abbreviating recently? Tom, I was really hungry the other day. I said, I'm well hung. <laughs> how much work do you do in the library, Oscar? Hmm, good question. Um, I do get distracted, but that's just me. God, I hate history. <laughs> You've distracted me so much. You, you're, just, you're not helping me either. I enjoy education. I'm not such a fan of school. I kind of just don't focus. I don't push myself to achieve what I could. I'm really, really good at getting distracted. Yes, you are. Well, I've written one sentence well. since we got here. Oscar should be getting straight A's across the board. Wow. But he doesn't produce any written work. You can be as intelligent as you like, but if you can't get those thoughts on paper, you're not going to get there. So, at the minute, he's failing. I have a feeling nobody's listening to me anymore. Yeah. Guys, get a move on. Come on. Guys, let's go. Come on, Year 11s. Only the most important GCSE there is. Let's get there. The one that will open doors for your future. <laughs> I've got a key to my door. Yeah, I'm sure you have, but without an English GCSE, it's not going to open very far. Let's go, please. Right, I'd like to hear a little bit of feedback from those people who are working really hard on this. I ain't. I know you're not. That's why you're staying in. It's period four. No, I've got, yes. I've got late attention. And year 11 Paris is in English with Mr Skinner. Get on, please. Do it now. So I can go to the toilet? No, you may not. Yeah. You may sit and you may write. I need to go wee. Doesn't matter. 
Stand up. No, I'm still asking. Stand you to go up. To the toilet. No, I mean that seriously. Stand, stand up. up. Oh my god. Fam, I need to go to the toilet. Hey, this is funny, man. So I actually need to go to the toilet. Oh my days. <laughs> How much do you need to do at the toilet? No, you need to go to the toilet enough to be able to go there and then come back and then do this piece of writing for me? Probably. OK, then go. Paris is really drawn to the idea of being the joker and the funny guy and, you know, the class clown. You think I'm opening my legs? Fuck You're no. Hello. No, sir, when I say I'm a piss... If I open my legs, I'll piss myself. Yeah, I'll get your order, I'll get your order, I'll get your order. <laughs> I want to be known as funny, but I also want to be known as someone who's, like, clever as well. Not, like, set one clever and all that, but someone who could, who's capable of, like, getting the crazy ones and stuff. You've got this, haven't you? You understand it? No, I don't. Yes, you do? No, I do not, sir. What makes it... Paris has got potential to get somewhere between the C or the B, but ultimately his reputation seems to matter far more to him than anything else. Alex. I'll add all and everything you can get in there, please, miss. Oh. <laughs> it's 4pm, and lessons have finished for the day. You're a weirdo, sir. Happy Pancake Day, everyone. Yeah. Paris and other Year 11s are doing coursework in the library. <laughs> Dominic, Dominic, oh. I swear to God, I'll dash my Kindle at your head. No, no, no. Simmer down, simmer down. Let's make a start. We're in that tricky period. Interrupt this fight in the library between your little boys and people. Okay, I'll do it. Paris and. Oi, oi, listen, sit down. Paris, could it have been you here? Yeah, calm now. Yeah, okay, but it's not acceptable, is it? Right, guys, the best thing you can do is go. Dominic, listen, you're going to sit down there, you're not going to move, you're not going to say anything, you're going to think for two minutes before anyone speaks to you. Yeah, you do understand, if you get up and move from here, you will not come back tomorrow, don't you? Thank you. The fight started when Paris tried to intervene in an argument between friends. Upstairs, thank you. Can we go home, ladies, please? I'm sorry if it means you lose the library. OK? Yes. Thank you. Nobody gets back in, miss. Paris and Dominic had a fight. Serious? Yeah. Now, Paris, how has this all happened? Well, we were all doing work, and then they had this argument over it. And then I stepped in, and I was like, Dominic, you just have to be quiet now, because there were half the remarks you were making, they just completely out of order. And then he was like, you're some snake, basically meaning that I'm someone who just betrayed him, basically. Chest beating. That's what it comes down to. There were members of staff in the in the library, weren't there? Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 So exactly. the, no one was under threat, were they? No, sir. I think for boys in particular, if they've got themselves to a point where they are perceived as the you know troublemaker, they, it's very often a self-fulfilling prophecy because they feel if not, it's an element of weakness. There is a likelihood you're going to be excluded. Right. Right. The thing is, at this stage. Eight weeks away from the exam, every day matters. Paris doesn't, at the moment, fully accept that there is a day of reckoning coming. And with the exams approaching so quickly, the danger is, unless you can get that message sunk in, he's at risk of failing. It's like 1.44 times 10 to the, one, the 108, 208. Two, 228. Come on, line up, line up, line up. Oi, 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 oi! Get to class. Hello, you know, Miss Hillman's actually nice, yeah? Okay, sure, get those earrings out. At times. Yes, Miss but Miss when Miss someone Miss. just triggers her wire, then that's when the bomb gets set off. <laughs> Eleanor! Please. It's the morning after Paris and his friend Dominic had a fight in the library. 
going to the year 11 assembly this morning to tell them that um, while their study is of deep importance to us and we will do everything that we can to make sure we find a system, they are barred from the library. I'm going to consult with some sensible Year 11s and Alex and Ben try and come up with a solution which will probably involve... A study room or something. Yeah, they cannot be in there. They are just out of control. You're hot-headed, Paris, and it's a terrible thing for you. You've got to change. Imagine when you were getting to your 20s and you're squaring up to people and people are not going to be around to sort it out. It's a childish thing. Yes, sir. And you've got to learn to grow up out of it because the world is your uh, oyster. I cannot have Year 11s at the moment with staff refusing to go in there because Year 11s won't follow what they're doing. After continual bad behaviour in the library, the fight is the last straw for the school's senior staff. We're banned from the library, year, ten, year 11s. Because right. Paris and Dominic had a fight yesterday. So now, year 11s are like kind of lost. Any year 11s, gone. You need to leave. Hang on a minute, I no longer have my hangout place. This is the worst. Where am I going to talk to my friends now? <laughs> the needs of the many outweigh the actions of a few, which is misquoting <laughs> Spock. Oscar has decided to lead a campaign group to get the Year 11s back into the library. Hey, hey, guys, 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 do you want to be able to get into the library? Yeah. Guys, I want to sign the library petition. It's all about freedom. I'm not, like, saying I'm the world's best humanitarian or whatever, but it is a somewhat noble cause. You want to sign the petition, you bet me? Hurry up, come on, we've got to get around the whole of the school, man. There's definitely quite a large amount of satisfaction that could be had from fighting the man. Can you sign the library? Shh, Mr. Larkin's right there. Shuffle around, shuffle. Don't confiscate him. Let's try and sneak into the library. Let's walk in and see what happens. Yes, I think they will. At least they can do is say no, right? Actually, they scare me. Yasmin, sign our petition to get the library back. I don't care about the library. That's your decision. That's fine. He's clearly not interested. Let's keep on. Jordan, do you want to sign the library petition? Thank you. At the end of break, Oscar heads to history with Miss Higgins. Miss, quickly, were you aware that I put a petition up? Is that the best way forward? Yes. And we know that loads of people want to be in the library. The problem is, I've been in there when, when there have been loads of Year 11s in there and the behaviour wasn't all good. Of them. Oh, no. If you imagine, Miss Smith is Hitler, OK? <laughs> Are you allowed heads, to say that? Are uh, Himmler and... Um, Your Goebbels. No, you're, you're Goebbels. No, Goebbels. And Mr. Palumbo's Goebbels. Um, no, Mr. Palumbo would be Himmler, you'd be Goebbels. Yeah. I don't want to be Goebbels. And then the... I don't want to be a Nazi. <laughs> Oscar's obsession with the library is his latest antic to avoid facing what is coming, you know, the exams. Everyone ready? Can I get a GCSE in Klingon? It's a modern foreign language. It's creative procrastination, isn't it? Why would you want to confront that scary thing on the horizon when actually you could find a hundred other things to do that take your mind off it? At this stage, so close to your GCSEs, your priorities should be about making sure that you've got good knowledge and understanding in history, but in all subjects. The frustration with him is that he can talk a good fight. If there was a verbal exam, he would, you know, he would ace it. But he's not working. He's not doing anywhere near enough. Speak to the kids from the other class, because some of the high flyers that thought that this was going to be easy found actually they've got work to do. So you have to take it seriously. Stuff. You want to put like the carrots, the mashed, like the potatoes, the pumpkin Potato. in like near to the end. Yeah. Let them cook. Paris, where's Paris? It's mid morning. The school is still deciding whether Paris and Dominic will be excluded after their fight yesterday. How are you going to be with Dominic in here today? Fine, I won't say anything. For now, they're allowed to attend a GCSE coursework class. 
Right, so. <laughs> the only place. How about up there? Right. Next to me, I'm not sure. I don't really want to put you next to Dominic, yeah? Yeah. All right, just ignore each other. Yeah. The boys have not spoken to each other since they left school last night. What meat are you using? You're not using meat, you're... Chicken. Use a chi um, where's your chicken? Are you all right with um, Paris in here? Yes. Don't even look at each other, all right? Mm. You want to add in your chicken first? Yeah. That's the first thing you want to add in. All right. Sorry, fam. I, yeah, I, 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 I didn't. I didn't. I was mean saying. To... I was. I probably said the thingy. Um, I regret. I regret the fight with you. I didn't mean, fam. I'm actually... It just got out of hand. Yeah, yeah. I, no, I don't want to. So, so, so I'm actually sorry. Fam. I think boys got lucky. They make up so much easier than girls make up. It's actually, yeah. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, cool. All right, bye. That was like five seconds. Harris, can Mr. Plumber have yeah. his second? Right, Paris, what the hell are they? I've got my shoes on, but my jeans are ripped. I've ripped I got a note for them. I ripped them. All right, OK, well, this is worrying me. But, but what we're here to talk about is, technically, we should exclude you. You're fighting, right? We're already kind of thinking, year 11, we need to do the right thing. We're making sure that we do what's in your interests. We're trying to make it work for you. Now, how far can I bend? Yeah. Yeah, and you've got to understand that I'm not a banana. Yeah. So the deal I have with Miss Jameson is that you're impeccable in there, you return to the intervention room afterwards, and you will have to make up the time. With exams approaching, the school have decided that the boys should serve their punishment in the intervention room during their lunch times. Okay. But you understand the conditions, and that way it helps you. Good. OK. I think if they were excluded, then it would do them no benefit whatsoever in the run-up to their, their GCSEs. The, the teenage bedroom is an absolute palace of distraction. They would be at home on the, the computer, they would get up late. It's much better that we have them in school under our watch. Right, you're late, guys. Over here, please. Reason? None. None? I just want to copy. Very honest in year nine, aren't we? What did you do last night? You out raving or something? No. Early night on a Sunday. Get up early. Right, go. Class? Dear, oh dear, surname? Somebody just sneak it. Get here now, Nico. I just think I'm stupid. Detention at lunchtime today. Oscar, you can get DK to sign it. That's approval from the new head boy. DK's not the head boy. He's not even deputy. Who is the head boy, though? Um, Joshua. It's a month since Oscar started his petition. DK's not the head boy. He's not even deputy. Oh, no, he's not. Get Joshua in. Sign our petition, please. And he's still on the campaign trail to get the Year 11s back into the library. Hello. Your weird Year 11 petition slip thing. His 14-year-old brother, Dylan, has joined the protest. How many have you got now? 90 odd. Wow. What? You're the PR person. 12 months ago, Dylan was moved up a year group due to his academic ability. It's kind of like a little sibling rivalry, and it can get annoying when everyone in my year is just going, hey, Dylan's smarter than you. He's smarter than you. It sometimes feels like a lot of pressure to do well in what other people expect. Just the other day, I asked a teacher a question, and they responded with, well, your brother would know that. You know what's funny about, you know, the whole kind of God thing? If God was omnipotent, why did he create humans if he knew that they were going to create sin? You can see they're going to eat the apple from the tree. And he says, I'm still going to create them anyway. I wouldn't say I'm absolutely intelligent. I wouldn't say I'm just a genius, but I am very knowledgeable. You know what's funny? It would take all of the energy from a hypernova to create Jupiter's mass. We've got this clever dad. He studied astrophysics in university. It's where I've got my huge interest in maths and physics. He's a very intelligent person. It's where Oscar and I have learned quite a lot of useless facts. Right, Oscar, yeah. let's have a chat. All right. All right, have a seat.
I think there's a huge weight of expectation on Oscar because he is very clever, his family is very intelligent. And I think, in a way, Oscar rails against that. I'm really concerned, currently... I see where this is going. You can see where this is going. Yeah. Currently, you are on D, possibly less. Mm. You're fantastic at history, but at the minute, verbally... Yeah. ..but your written work is not following. So what I want to do is set no. you something and then we can sit down and actually unpick it. But it's got to take a commitment from you. Are you... Well, you tell me, how do you feel about that? Otherwise, as I've said so often in class, you're going to be opening that envelope in August mm. and you will be kicking yourself. Yeah. So are you happy to do that? More than happy. OK, good. Right, so I'll see you tomorrow. Yes. It's crunch time. He's got to start working. He's got to start putting his money where his mouth is. He could be anybody. I just really hope that he realises it in time. Exam. Expect contrasting thoughts. Expect mixed feelings. Please write that down as a note. To it's six weeks until the Year 11 sit their GCSEs, and Mr. Skinner is practicing an English language paper with his class. Note to yourself. So. Mixed thoughts, feelings. Write it down as a note to yourself, please. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. Yes, you can. I like English literature and poetry because. I like using my imagination. He dealt with far more complicated things than this in a really clear and authoritative way. No, this is very complicated. Whereas language, is, I struggle with a bit, so then that's when I find myself messing about. Yeah. Look at it. Is it clear? I'm so sweet, man. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. What's the point, man? What's the point of your GCSEs? Sometimes I'll just say, I can't do it, either, because I can't be bothered. So this is a bit hard, man. Uh. Or sometimes I just act up in a lesson, because I love, like, showing that I can't do stuff, because it doesn't isn't really make, it doesn't feel nice. Oh, my gosh, man. But it's just really hard for me just to put my hand up and say, sir, I need help. Yeah. I don't care, man. <clears throat> Oh, Patrick, stop giving Ooh. up on everything. Like, it's just going to be an absolute and utter failure. I will work with you. I will show you Ooh. my written answer. I don't care anymore, man. I think every teacher must have the patience of a saint. I, I think it's one of the first things they asked me when I started to qualify. Do you have the patience of a saint? And I said yes, and then I've just been tested every day since. I can't make the bench on Friday, but I'm not coming today. Got a thing to be doing. It's agonising. I feel like we're kind of two battering rams that are bashing against each other. Who's going to win? I'm going to win. I could do Irish dancing. <laughs> we're going to spend time to make sure we understand Shakespearean text. Let's have some ideas. Pardon? It don't make sense. OK, William Shakespeare, the greatest writer in the English language, don't make sense. Doesn't make sense would be it. Anyway, never mind. I would speak to the boss first. With over 100 signatures on his library petition, Oscar has come to see the school's senior team. Miss Smith! <laughs> Do you have a moment? Of course I do. There's a bit of a delegation that needs to speak to you. Yes. We were wondering if, at the beginning of this SLC meeting, we could bring up a point we about have the about the library. But what you could you do is we have a leadership team briefing at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, which you can come and speak to us at. <laughs> I'm not even awake until 10 o'clock most days. I know. To show dedication, I will be here. Yeah? 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Yeah. Indeed. We will be there. 
I think Miss Higgins is secretly on our side. She just she doesn't want to say it in front of the rest of us. Even though I know that GCSEs are like very soon, I'm not feeling the pressure right now to be motivated into doing anything radical. Like turning around and going, I'm going to start revising every day for three hours. Not started that yet. With only a month until his GCSEs, Oscar has still not submitted the written work set by Miss Higgins. Right, what are we going to do about getting me something to mark? I can do the essay over the weekend. What is it that's going to make you go, I really need to get my act together now and, and do it? I don't know what it is in there. I don't either, I don't that's the go... problem. OK. What I'm worried is, let's just say that in September, you haven't got the grades, so therefore you can't go to the college of your choice. I'm wondering what plan B is. I don't really have a plan B. This is my issue. Yeah. What are you going to do? Because you might not find that thing that's going to motivate you. And so you're really, really clever, and it's gone. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I, I, w I will, I aim to. I would like to. It's, it's, there's a thing in my brain which doesn't quite work properly. Well, can you access it and reset it? I feel more comfortable talking, and I just don't feel I can write as easily, and I don't want to put something down just to realise it's the wrong thing to put down and then cross it out start again. I'm probably annoying the hell out of you at the moment. I think it is really easy to write off boys that are messing around as just lazy. But often, there is a sense of, if I don't do it, then no one can say I failed. I'm really frustrated because I just need to shake you. I don't think Oscar would ever admit that it was a fear. Do you promise to try your absolute hardest? I do. But actually, I think that's part of why he denies it. You know, he, he procrastinates because it's actually, if you, um, if you acknowledge it, then it's real. Then you're going to have to deal with it. Minus two. That one cancel, that one, leaving one. And one times one is minus one is minus one. OK? When we come back it's the end of third period. And Paris is in maths with Mr. Mackenzie. Perpendicular lines. Okay, thank you. Hi, sir. Hi, sir. Hey, teaching here after. I want a uh, word with that young man. Paris. Yes. Oh, oh, how is he? Both Mr. Mackenzie and Mr. Skinner are increasingly concerned with Paris's behaviour in lessons. Paris, is there something happening that you want to share with us to, 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 that's impacting on your, your attitude to learning? No. In, in English, what's going on, sir? Part of the roadblocks. Yeah. That's what it is, isn't it? Just yeah. the, you know, a complete, like, oh, that's it. I can't do it. And we're talking about two core subjects here. We're talking about English and maths, Paris. Yeah. And, and we're we... talking about two teachers who really care. We really value you. We think your future is one that all you need to do is just step into it almost. You have it in here to do that if you don't give up on yourself. I don't think so. Sorry? I said, I don't think I can do it, so I'm not going to do it. That sounds like you give up on yourself. I know I'm feeling the pressure, especially when there's other people around you that's doing like really well. And I don't like people thinking, oh, he can't do it, he's stupid or something. So that's when I just start getting annoyed and like frustrated. Because you know, if you make mistakes, it's the first step towards getting good at something. We talked about this with your skateboarding. If you fall off, you're learning, OK? So the next time you try the trick, do it better. Mm -hmm. Just bend those negative thoughts and say, you know what? I'd rather to fail trying than not to try at all. The point is that as soon as you start to try, I think you are succeeding already. Exactly. So the success is in the effort. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. You can do it. Boys need to understand that failure is part of success. I'm not sure that Paris gets that. That's the thing, he says, well, I can't do this, therefore I will not do it. You're the stubbornest kid that I know, Paris. You can be. And I need you to use that stubbornness to say, yes, do you know what, I can, yeah. I'm absolutely going to be better than every kid. You know that I can mm -hmm. belief, and if you can get that I can about yourself, then 
that positive attitude will allow all of your ability to flow. It's easy for him to step into being a class clown because that's something he can always succeed at. So it's easy for him to become, you know, kind of sideshow Bob of um, the English classroom. We need to break that cycle. OK, let's have a three-way handshake. <laughs> OK? Yeah. I think most teachers, they've already just been done with me by now because of how, how loud I am stuff in lessons. I remember this time. I remember your age. I remember. It's stressful. It's a difficult time. But Miss Skinner's always been there. He's always helping me. He's awesome. I believe he, like, Miss Skinner, he generally cares. I've never been in this early in my life. No. It's 8am and a big day for Oscar. This morning, he'll be presenting his petition to the school's senior staff to try and get Year 11s back into the library. Right, you're about to be accosted. We have got the Year 11s coming in because they've got a petition they would like to discuss with us. I have never seen him in school at this time, so this is quite, um, quite an important thing for him. Oh. Oscar. Oscar. Good morning. Good morning. Do morning. come in. Yeah, I would like you to sit at this end of the table, please. All right. Would you like any cake? Mr Plumber likes to begin the morning with some chocolate cake. Please do not take this as an example of healthy <laughs> <laughs> Right. OK, so do you want to talk us through what the issue is and what it is you want? We are not allowed to use the library to the same extent. Mm -hmm in terms of us being able to go in there kind of as we wanted. We have weeks till on GCSEs and it'd be really nice if we could have somewhere to revise. OK. The thing that worries me a bit is it, it wasn't being used as it should be and that's why, you know, th these decisions were made. I think everyone should be given another chance and been told that it's zero tolerance and if they're not revising, be sent out. OK. So one of the things that we can look at is making sure that some of these spaces are reserved for Year 11 to use. Yeah, I think the piece yeah, That's is... a good compromise, isn't it? So we could say 20% or, of the places are reserved or... for Year 11. So are we happy with that? Yeah, yeah. I think it's... Yeah. I think it's definitely a win for us. It feels good. I feel like I've accomplished one thing in my five years here. I feel 20%. Yeah, I mean, they could have just said, well, at the end of the day, we're not changing anything. I'm hoping that distractions for now are done with and this will now galvanise him into action, you know, getting his act together and studying. It went pretty well. We've now reserved in advance permanently 20% of all spaces in the library for year 11 years. How much is 20%? Of 75? Fuck me if I know. <laughs> Despite Mr Skinner's efforts, Paris's behaviour in lessons hasn't improved in the last two weeks. Focus now, please. Remember, we talked about it. And with exams fast approaching, he's going to see assistant head Mr Palumbo for help. Sometimes you've got to be really clever with how you're going to get the student to get ready for the exam. Deep down, I know Paris loves English. And so maybe the one thing that will get him to work is the threat of being pulled out of class. Mr Skinner, how are you? Yeah, I'm OK. I wanted to speak to you about one of your charges. All right, which one's that? Mr Paris. He has fantastic ability and he's not showing it in class enough. Yeah. And just when he needs to be on the boil, he's gone off the boil. As soon as he feels he can't do something, then he relies upon his ability as a class clown. You know, he's surrendering his future for the present. What does he need to do? I need him to give me a complete turnaround. I want just complete effort. If we could understand that the next thing is going to be that I'm going to have him out of class. Right. And all of the quality learning that he would do between now and the end, it will be gone. Right. I'll see what miracle we can work for you. I'll leave uh, the miracle stuff in your hands. I can't give up. I can't give up at any point because then I know that you know, the day that they collect their results, the result is there because I give up. It's not enough, is it, to accept that somebody is going to be completely 
lost to you. It's about being determined all the way to the end. Morning. Very well, my uncle. Thank you. You? It's my birthday today, sir. So. Oh, happy birthday. Thanks very much. Happy birthday, sir. Thank you very much. <sighs> Come on. Happy birthday. <laughs> 37 years old. I made it this far. Yeah. <laughs> Paris! Following Mr Skinner's request for help, Come Paris in. has been called to see assistant head, Mr Palumbo. Long time no see, Paris. Yes, sir. What do you reckon is my prime concern? It's my behaviour. Yeah. Mr Skinner said to me, you produce some brilliant work. Well, it's just... Clown and then you become a clown. Yeah. You've got to understand, Paris, that people will quite happily, at this time of stress, be entertained by you. You can do what you want. They'll love it. Ha! <laughs> but then what do they do when they finish laughing? Do what? Yeah. And so these people are leaving you behind. Yeah, yeah. All right? Now, if you can't keep it together in English and if you think that you've got to adopt that class clown, we're going to take you out of English. Mm. Because there are a lot of people in your group that are under a lot of pressure. Yeah. And they are working very well and that... If you are interrupting them, you need to take, be taken away so that they can work. Right. right? I don't want to do that, Paris. So long. Jeez, man. I, I just know I'd be very upset if I failed my GCSEs. I don't even know, actually, like, how to win towards. It takes real teamwork to keep students on track for their exams. We are so close now, and Paris has almost no time left. Thank you. All right, thank you. <laughs> what page is it? 263. Who's finished question one? Put your hand up. Two people only. No. Question one. Nerds. <laughs> it's period four, and Oscar is in physics with Mrs. Panasar. Absolutely. If we go, no, if we go by the theory that the universe is infinite, there are an infinite number of possibilities, eventually this scenario will happen in a certain amount of direction in that way. He will hit himself in the buttocks. <laughs> Which reminds me, has he got your uh, research? Not on me. It's absolutely brilliant what you are discussing here, yeah? But that is not going to go in there. Aww. See, this is what I don't like about school, <laughs> right? I'm clever, miss. Yes. We know you're school clever. School doesn't recognise We that. know you're very clever, you know that. Let so me have a chat have with Mr. Ghost. You don't want to have a chat with Mr. Ghost. You don't oh. want to have a chat with Mr. Ghost. I'm going to punch him in the face. <laughs> but Oscar is getting very serious now. Without the research, it's meaningless. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Thank you. So, Oscar, um, again, a mixed picture of class and homework that we shouldn't be seeing in year 11, which I think is, is, is obvious there. I mean, the homework... With just weeks to go before GCSE exams, senior staff are still concerned about Oscar's performance. If we look at the predicted grades, it doesn't look like he's going to hit those A's. I still cannot get him to put things on paper. I know I could be doing better, and everyone else knows it, and I feel bad for those people because they're sticking their necks out for me, and then I'm kind of pushing them away. Even I know that they are just trying to help me. Hi, birthday. Right, birthday present, write me a good answer, please. Do it now, please. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, dear Ian. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. I thank you very much. <laughs> now, I'm very serious. What I want for my birthday is just good answers to these questions. Get on with the answers, please. Recently, 
I've been pretty good with revision. I'm slightly nervous, like butterflies in the stomach. That's how I feel, more or less. Just a bit uneasy. After their plane crashed high in the mountains of South America, two survivors left to find rescue for themselves and their companions. What kind of feelings can you predict? Fear. Oh, sir, because you say, as in, like, can you talk about, like, how the heart pumps blood around the body? Yeah. So if there's fear in the heart, then obviously the fear's going to get pumped around the whole body. So Lovely. Like, please get, right, calm. Thank you very much. Yeah. Sir, is that my name on the board? Yes. <sighs> On the happy side, Paris, because you were so busy working without you even noticing. He's someone that could have been completely off the rails, and at this point, he's nearly there. I want to know that you are uh, staying on the sort of good news story that you started yesterday. Yeah. The finishing line is just in sight. And, you know, it's just the last little steps that we're going to take with him. I've got to make sure that he does all those things in the right way. OK, the good news story is happening. And I'm so proud and I'm so pleased that the corner's happened and we've turned it. I feel like giving you a hug, yeah? <laughs> I'm not going to give you a hug, OK? Yeah. I'll save that until you get your seat in English. Okay. Paris, yeah. you yeah. can do it. Right. Well Thank done. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. It's non-uniform day and the end of term. Oscar, can I have a quick chat before you go? Despite Mrs Higgins's requests, Oscar hasn't managed to submit any written homework. Have you got anything for me to mark, Oscar? I have. Yes. You have? I did run out of time. It's not 100% finished. OK. How long did you time this? Yeah. Fantastic. And how do you think you did? I ne nearly got past question four, but I didn't. Brilliant. Right, I'm going to mark that. I'm going to give you some feedback. It's great that you've done it. The one thing I'm going to say just by looking at it is timing is an issue. Yes. Isn't it? So we need loads and loads of practice. I do want to do well, and I do want to make other people happy and proud of me. And I don't want Miss Higgins to feel I've let her down. So I, I do take it all on board and wholeheartedly listen to everything she has to say. Do your level best as we're going to get you and A in history. If you do this all the time from here until the exam, there's still a chance that you get it. All right, fab. Brilliant. No problem. I need to put this room back together. What is going to give you a good start to this exam now is you listening carefully. So absolute focus. Please make sure you have your stuff in your hand ready. For most of my students, I know what they're going to get. In Oscar's case, it's really scary because I literally don't know how he's going to perform. Watching them go into the exam is the hardest thing because, you know, the, the, the stabilizers are off, the door's closed, there's no way in. And, you know, you want to be there for them all, and it's just, oh, it's just the most difficult thing. Watch your names on the front. How are you feeling, Bonnie? I feel sick. <laughs> I haven't slept. <laughs> I feel physically sick, I'm really nervous. How do you think you've done? I don't know. Sorry, no, Hopefully no, well. No, I'm really not sure. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm elated. <laughs> you got the seat. So, well done, Paris. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Time. Three, two, one. Nice. A in history. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. That is really fantastic. Look at that. I'm chuffed to bits. Are you pleased? I'm very pleased. Oh.
<laughs> Next time, the school year's coming to an end. Your GCSE is coming up. That is the most important thing to you right now. You're actually the best teacher I've ever met with Aisha. And two very different students. I love being a teenager. I love it. I want to always be a positive person. People look at Christopher and don't think, oh, there's a child with autism. I think that's Christopher. Face up to life after Frederick Bremer. You just need to believe in yourself. Yeah.